Alrighty. Um, some people wonder what, at what age or what time you become an old timer. You know, it's actually kind of hard to say. I consider myself one. I have been for quite a while. I, uh, I, you know, over the years you accumulate some knowledge. You don't make it perfect. You don't make it a genius. But um, a lot of the younger folks don't seem to put much stock in what the old people say because they, you know, young folks they already know it all. They don't need to listen to anybody else. And the young folks probably think that the old folks are just sitting around waiting to kick off because they ain't got no reason to live anymore. Well, to be honest with you, in my case. I still, I mean, in my mind, I feel like I'm 20. But with the fact that I know I'm, uh, I have limitations now. You can't, I can't do some of the stuff I could then. In fact, I can't do a lot of things I used to. do. not stove that part of the time. Don't move very fast. That's why I trip and fall on stuff once in a while. Hurt myself or, or uh, don't come flying off my tractor like I should and land on my feet. So that's a sign of getting older. You can't, you're not as agile. Or anything else, but in, in your memory, in your mind, unless you know, unless something's going wrong in your mind, and my memory don't seem as good as it used to be, I read for that. I still feel like I can uh, feel like I did before. I know I don't look it by no means, but I actually do feel like you know, just feel like I did when I was younger. And the younger folks, they probably think, well, you know, the old folks like that, well, they get past 50, they don't think about uh, like men, they don't think about women no more. Well, how wrong you are, young man. And you'll find out later on that part don't change. Or at least for a lot of us it don't. It's just you can't do as much as you used to could. And uh, the thing too is if you're, you know, you can't get out and gallop and around all night like you used to could. And in my case, I only want to. I'm more happy sitting around the house here instead of getting out and trying to party. There was, I never was one to drink much, you know. And I messed myself up by smoking. I said that many, many times. And here again, I'll put in a little public service announcement. If you don't smoke, don't start. If you do smoke, try hard to stop. I should have years and years ago. That's another thing that's limited me a lot on what I can do. I haven't been doing that mess up my lungs. There's a lot of things I can still do, just like I could when I was 20. But the point, of the, one of the point of the thing is there, you know, you, younger folks don't look at old people like they're really I think they're sitting in the, in the back porch uh, watching the birds or whatever they do. That's not the case. You know, young, if young folks just put yourself in their place. If they could do the same things you do physically, they would. So that's the way that works. You know, back in the day when I was younger and everything, you know, you, you had to get out early Saturday night or Friday night, find a good parking spot along the road there, some of the back in the back rows where somebody already got the good spots. Well, now I've driven around at night before and there's nobody parked anywhere. You might find an occasional coon hunter out there. You can tell it's a coon hunter because he's got a truck with a dog box in the back. I don't know why they want to hunt coons when they can pick up a dozen of them on the road every five miles, but I guess that's a different thing against the kind of sport. But uh, I don't know, there's probably a lot of other things I would like to say about this situation. But uh, not that not to, I'm not the, well, in other words, old folks are just still just about the same as they used to be. You just can't do it much. That's about all I can tell you about it. And at what point do you become an old timer? I really don't know. Um, back when I was 55 years old, I stopped at a cafe. And she said, uh, is this a senior citizen discount? I said, no, it's not really. I should have said, yeah, I'll get my 10% or 5%, whatever it was, off there, but I didn't. Um, but anyway, you know, Sometimes you can look older than you are or younger than you are. For example, my wife looks younger than she really is. Quite honestly, she's uh, 63 years old, I think, or maybe more than that. She really don't look it. But uh, then me, in my case, when I was 25, people thought I was 40. So, you know, everything I get is relative. Well, this is probably enough of my rambling on. It's basically all it is rambling, and uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know what else to say about the fact that when you get older, you're just, you're just limited to what you can do. Not that you, a lot of times you think you can do more than you could. I mean, you, you have to know your limitations and you have to kind of uh, accept the things that aren't, aren't like it was 40 years ago for you. All right, well, this is probably uh, boring and monotonous enough, so I'm going to get off here and you all take care. And bye now.